Hey, <laughs> it's good to see you. Um, please don't mind the heater in the back. My space heater is on. I'm sitting on the floor. I, I'm not turning it off. I do apologize for the sound if it bothers you. Um, I went out to an early morning class, an exercise class this morning, and it's cold outside. And I just, the class wasn't outside. But for some reason, I just got chilled. I just got cold and like I just can't get warm. I don't know. I've been back home now for an hour and I'm still like cold. It's not cold in here. It's just me. I'm fine. I've had this all my life. Every now and then in the winter time or when it's cold, I just like I just can't get warm. I don't know. So I, I put on a thick hoodie. I've got on my thick socks and I don't know. I'll get warm. It'll just take me a while. But I just wanted to say hey and there aren't as many of y'all here and I kind of feel like you know we're good friends so I could just talk to you about stuff I can I can let you in on a, a little secret and we can talk a little bit about you know yesterday and and this is something I've never really talked about because when I do an April Fool's video at the day after I don't acknowledge it I don't ever mention it again and so a lot of people are genuinely confused like every now and then I'll have somebody in the comment section go wait a minute I quit watching her for a while she said she bought that that farm and she wouldn't make videos anymore and I come back here and I see there are all these videos I'm confused what what happened I thought she said she wasn't making videos anymore and it could be some of these people are just trying to be funny but I think some people are just genuinely confused like I don't understand why is she still making video did, did she <clears throat> did she not keep the farm or the mall or what happened there because they didn't watch the whole video um yeah so that I'm, but I'm gonna tell you a few things about april fool's videos that i've never talked about don't tell anybody okay it's just between us just don't tell anybody <clears throat> there's an, a whole other level to the joke that nobody knows till now I'll tell you what I do and it should be pretty obvious but apparently it's not because like nobody picks up on it so you have the video and then you have the comment section the comment section is part of the joke um, when you make a video for YouTube you have options you can either allow every comment to post unfiltered you can disable comments or you can select manually review all comments. Let's get you back there. You can manually review all your comments and approve them or reject them manually. That's what I do with my April Fool's videos. And so that way the only comments you're gonna see are the ones that don't give away the joke. And this this is this is the enjoyment I get out of it, okay? I have had to go through over fifteen hundred comments. I have, this is the most I've ever gotten on any April Fool's video in the six years I've been here. I think, what is this, like my fifth April Fool's video? I've never gotten anywhere near as many comments as I got on this one. Oh my Lord. So the only ones that I approve are the ones that don't give away the joke. That way, people are watching the video and you know the first thing they do, they go to the comment section like, what the hell is she talking about? This can't be real. And they go down through the comment section, it's like, Oh my God, is it real? Cause like nobody here's catching on to it. I made a lot of people very happy and very frustrated yesterday. The ones that like to be the first to point things out were just wetting themselves. Like, oh my God, I get to be, the, oh my God, nobody's noticed. Oh my God, I'm the first one to notice this is April Fool's. Holy shit, this, you, you guys. And they all start out saying, you guys, it's April Fool's. You bunch of idiots. You didn't watch the whole thing. Did you not see what date it was? hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them I had to go through all of them and I still have some I haven't gotten through them all yet I've already gone through over 1500 comments I've, I don't think I've ever gotten that many on any video ever I think that's the most I've ever gotten the only ones I allow are the ones that don't give away the joke so it keeps the joke going so even if you click on that video six months from now the comments won't give it away because I will always filter them and I do that with all my April Fool's videos. They were all filtered. To, I try to keep out the ones that give it away. I know that may be kind of shitty, but that's what I do. Because I get a lot of enjoyment out of that. I love to see what it does to people. Like, holy shit, you guys! You know, they just, blah! They just like, oh my god! 
Every other comment's just in all caps. It's April Fools! If I see the phrase April Fools one more time, I'm gonna die because I've seen it hundreds of times since yesterday. April Fools, April Fools, oh my God, y'all so stupid. Look, it's April Fools, oh my God, people, you guys. It's hilarious. It's so funny, but that's part of the joke. That's part of the joke, it goes along with it. So I'll tell you about that video. I, I first got the idea for that video back in January. I started preparing for that video in January. And a lot of people thought, well, it's like on Facebook, I think, oh, you must have found that in a, a Goodwill store. I wish, I wish. I had to special order both of those costumes and they were kind of expensive. Um, the inflatable one I ordered from a company over in London, like over in England somewhere, and I had to pay an obscene amount of money to have it shipped here because I couldn't find one here. Um, yeah, finding condom costumes apparently is not very easy. There was another one I really wanted, but the shipping was like $80, and I didn't want to pay that. So, Captain Condom. Where did I find Captain Condom? I forget. So, I found them both online back in, like, January. And I wanted to have plenty of time to get them here to, to do what I wanted to do. And when I got the Captain Condom costume, um, it didn't have the tights or the boots. Let me show you. See? Oh, Sorry. So here's the, here's the costume, and so I'm lazy, and I didn't open it when I first got it, so I thought it came with boots and tights. It actually didn't, and it's also not purple, it's blue. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> so this is Captain Condom, y'all. Yeah, Captain Condom. So, but it does include what it says, and then over here in small print, it says that these are optional accessories. They don't actually... They don't actually come with it. So, anyway. So, I ordered the furry leg warmers and got some tights. And fortunately, I checked it before I was going to actually wear it. I checked it like a week in advance. Like, you might want to actually take this out and look at it and see if you make sure everything's in there and see if you need to get anything. So, for the second year in a row, making this video, I was recovering from being sick. When I went out to record the outdoor stuff for the Yodel, the Tarzan Yell video last year, I was recovering from COVID. Um, I was not contagious anymore, but I still did not feel great. I actually felt like hammered shit the day I was out there doing that. I felt really shit. I, I felt so bad that day. I was still kind of achy and tired and just, I had still had a bit of a cough, not too bad. I just, I was really, I had no energy. Like I was dragging so bad, but I had to get it done. And it was a, it was a really good day. And I had to go up into the mountains in Virginia where my dad is. My dad is the one who recorded all that. My dad did that for me because he's super awesome. And um, yeah, somebody complained about the breathing sounds where I'm sitting on the rock by the waterfall. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry my 81 year old dad, Vietnam vet recover, you know, had two heart attacks. I'm sorry after climbing up the side of a mountain that his breathing bothered you. Yeah, that really sucks. I, I'm gonna tell him to breathe quieter in the future, damn it. It's not like, anyway, yeah, my dad was kind enough to help me with that. My two kids helped me with this video, the Captain Condom and everything. My younger son helped me with the inflatable video. My older son did the Captain Condom video when we were out at the place with the cover bridge. Um, so I was, I was recovering from being sick in this video and the one I did last year. So, but I, 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 I rallied the troops like, come on, we can do this, we can do this. It was funny though, because before I recorded the outdoor stuff, at, uh, you know, the one out at the covered bridge, I had to stop and blow my nose and cough so many times in, in between doing those because my nose was really runny with allergies and getting over being sick. And I still had a, a cough, a really bad cough, and uh, it was awful. It was awful. I was not feeling good that day. <laughs> By the time I recorded the inflatable part, I was feeling much, much better. That, that I recorded like a week later. So I recorded all that last month. And then I did the little, the little narrative part about a week prior to preparing the video. I finished the video about a week ago. I like to have it ready well in advance. So I, you know, because it's always in the back of my mind stressing me out. It's the most stressful video I do, except for maybe the painting videos that I do on Halloween. That one, for some reason, stresses me out because I, I don't paint. So then I have to paint where other people are going to see me do it. 
it makes me nervous. I used to get nervous about the cooking videos, but anymore I'm, I'm not nervous about those because I know people are going to, people are going to say what they're going to say and if they don't like it, well, I don't care anymore because I've decided that life is too short to worry about people who nitpick. I try not to let it get to me, but sometimes it still does. Um, so yeah, I was getting over being sick, but it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, there's another thing about the April Fool's videos. If you think about it, you'll see the April Fool's video is the hardest one I do every year, mainly because every year it gets harder to come up with a good idea that sounds just real enough to be legitimate. You know, it's not completely bonkers, but it kind of is. Think about it. You can't joke about most things these days. You can't. People will get tore out of frame if you joke about anything, which severely limits the topics that you can that you can go after in an April Fool's video. It, it limits, it severely limits what you can do. You can't joke about tragedy. You can't joke about pregnancy, children, childbirth, any of that. You cannot touch pregnancy. You cannot touch that. You cannot touch anything about children. You can't. You just can't. Um, you can't joke about being a parent. You can't joke about being a homeowner. Um, no, you think about it. Run it all the way through in your mind and think about it and you'll understand. You, you just can't because people, some people live for an opportunity to get on their soapbox. They do. They love an opportunity to stand up and yell about how upset they are. So comedy is basically in a coma during this period that we're living in. I don't think it's dead because I think it will come back. But under these current conditions, you, you just, you can't really joke about anything anymore. So the only option I have is just to be completely absurd, just to be absolutely wackadoo, just do crazy stuff. That's why I'm Captain Condom. That's why I do Tarzan yells because that's all there's left. That's all that's left. You can't joke about any, anything. I've already, I've already bought a couple of big things. I can't really do that again. So every year it gets a little harder. It's a challenge, definitely. I usually start thinking about it right after Christmas. Usually when Christmas is over, New Year's, I start tumbling through ideas in my mind like, you can't joke about love, you can't joke about romance. I mean, there, there's, there are so many things that, and even with Captain Condom, there was a handful of people who were upset about that. Only like four. So I'm not even worried about it because no matter what you do, somebody's gonna have a problem with it. They, I was, I'm promoting promiscuity by advertising condoms and that upset some people. And they're like, well, you claim to be a Christian and you're, you know, you're supporting sex out of wedlock. I'm like, first of all, I never said I was a Christian. And second of all, you know, not just unmarried people use condoms, but I didn't answer the person. I just deleted their comment. But like some people like to find a reason to complain, whether the reason makes any sense or not is irrelevant. They just like to find a reason to complain. So whatever. Um, I'm not worried about it. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one and they all stink. So it leaves you with just absolute absurdity. You can joke about absurd things, but really nothing else. <laughs> so it's a ch it's definitely a challenge. It's like a it's like a a brain teaser. It's something to give my brain it gives my brain something to think about. But it's stressful because I'm sitting here like and the whole time I'm making clips for these videos, I'm just going this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. Like my my older son did not want to go out there to record that stuff. He's like, "Mom, are you seriously going to go out there in that costume and really and he was hurrying me up the entire time. I was like, Mom, that's it, right? We don't need any more clips. Like, no, because we need to go down here. Oh, my God. Mom, you don't, you've got enough. You don't, you don't need any more. I got very little video out there because he was hurrying me up. Like, Mom, somebody is going to see us, okay? Because there are houses around. Like, somebody is going to ride by and see us. Nobody rode by. Nobody. Nobody. It, there was, it was like a Sunday afternoon. There was nobody out there. I kind of figured somebody would ride by, but nobody did. And he was rushing the entire time, like, can we, can we wrap this up? Can, what else do you need? My God, look, can we please get out of here? He was, he was embarrassed. I'm like, there's nobody out here. There's nobody out here but us. Well, somebody can ride by. I'm like, I don't care. It'll give him something to talk about. Shit, I've given plenty of people something to talk about. 
my neighbor over here. We call him Monkey Man. Have I ever told you about Monkey Man? It's it's not a derogatory term. See, there's okay. One of the one of the people over here, like their father, he's an older guy. He's probably seventy if he's a day. Little bitty guy, little bitty guy. About he's old. I mean, not old. But I mean, you know. Well, when they first bought that house, there were these big, beautiful. Um, they're not cedar trees, but they kind of look like cedar trees. Big, full trees back there, you know. And when they bought the house, he had a little handsaw. And he would take he would be barefooted out there. He would shimmy up that tree and he started cutting the limbs out of the tree. And he trimmed all the limbs off all four of these giant trees until they looked like sad toothpicks sticking up out of the ground. But he would shimmy up and down those trees barefooted with that saw. And we're watching him and he was fast too. He would I said, he's like a little monkey. Look how he goes. And we just started calling him monkey man. We still call him Monkey Man. All the trees ended up dying, and when they died, he went up the trees. He'd go about halfway up with this electric, like a corded chainsaw. It took him days and days and days to do this because the saw kept dying. Like, dude, get somebody get Monkey Man a real saw, and he would cut him about halfway, and it was just, it took him forever. He cut the tree, he like the tops out of the trees. So they're still standing like 20 feet tall, and it's just these dead trees. And he props dead branches up against it and has vines that will grow up those dead trees in the summer. It's the ugliest shit you ever saw. But he works really hard on it, and it looks like crap. Anyway, Monkey Man was out there when I came out in the inflatable condom costume. I wish I could have gotten a picture of his face. <laughs> okay, I didn't give a shit. Like, I, Cause my son was like, Mom, Monkey Man's out there. So I said, I don't care, I got things to do. I need to go ahead and record these clips cause I, I gotta be somewhere. Come on, let's get it done. I don't, I don't, I don't care about him. Forget Monkey Man. Give him, give him something to talk about, I don't care. So we I put the costume on and I had not, that was the first time I ever inflated it. So I wasn't sure how it was gonna go. I wasn't gonna include that clip initially, but I thought it was kind of funny, so I just left it in there. And uh, I didn't know what I was gonna do when I got out there. I didn't know how much I'd be able to move in that thing. Initially, I was gonna try to just fall over. But have you ever tried to just fall over? I couldn't bring myself to do it, so I just slowly lowered myself down to the ground. And then my head like sunk back into the costume. The entire time I'm out there, which I was only out there for like three minutes, monkey. Monkey Man was just standing there, just stock still, his mouth open, just going. I don't think he blinked the entire time. Every, every time I glanced over, he's just like. <laughs> I gave him a little wave when we went back in the house. He was just going. <laughs> I could just imagine him going back inside like. Our neighbor lady was just out there in a big yellow costume and then nobody else else saw him I'm like, what are you talking about? What? Do, do we need to take you to the doctor again? Do you need a new prescription for your glasses? <laughs> oh my God. I had a ball making the video. Believe it or not, there were no bloopers. There were no outtakes, zero. I used every bit of video that I got and there were no bloopers at all, none. Not a one. So that one came off without a hitch and it was easy to put together. I had a lot of fun doing it. But yeah, the comments that you see in the April Fool's video are not like comments in the other videos. All I do is leave in comments that don't give it away. And that way, that video is the gift that keeps on giving because forever, all you'll ever see are comments that don't give away the joke. And a lot of people have started figuring that out and I, I recognize their names and I realize they're, they're, they're playing along. So I let their comments go up. So, yeah, it's have have some faith in humanity. Most people knew it was a joke. I'd say 99% of people knew it was a joke. Um, but if I put that in the comment section, it's going to give it away, and I don't want to give it away. So all you're going to see in the comment section are ones that don't give it away. So, yes, yes. Um, I have another thing I want to talk to you about. Um, I guess I'll talk, I think I'll talk about it now. So anyway, that those are my little secrets about the April Fool's videos. I don't know what I'm doing next year yet. Um, God, Lord, I don't even know. I don't even know where to begin. My brain's like, really? We have, I don't want to think about that now. 
I'm tired. It doesn't want to think anymore, so I won't force it to. Okay, I have not heard any more out of Crazy Lady up here. She's been quiet. I haven't heard anything from her, and I have not gotten up with my magistrate friend yet. I'm going to try to uh, contact her again today. But I talked to the HOA director because I'm having a problem with the people over here where they have piled up all the stuff against the fence and my, my the rainwater is pooling up in my backyard. She's going to contact them and ask them to remove it. Um, I don't know if it will work because they haven't removed it yet. It's still there. And I told her about the situation and she's aware that I've been dealing with her and I told her, I sent her the whole video and let her see and she's like, yikes. I said, yeah. She had a suggestion and I think I'm going to do this and well actually I've already done it and I did it this morning. She said it wouldn't hurt to send her a cease and desist letter, basically just outlining, you know, and I found a template cease and desist letter online and I just used that. You know, I, you've been harassing us since on or about this time. It's really kind of started in about July of 2020 with me personally. I think the first time she screamed at me was in July of 2020. And she screamed at my kids. She, you know, she has harassed all three of us. And I said, you know, basically, you know, I'm asking you to cease and desist these activities. I'm asking you to no longer, to not communicate with me or my kids. If you choose to, if you refuse to do this and you continue to harass us, I will be forced to seek legal action. I will seek a legal remedy to this situation. So I went ahead and I sent her that certified mail today where she will have to sign to get the letter. Now, I don't know if she'll pick it up or not. Because I imagine I'm probably not the only one sending her certified mail. I mean, her, so her dad died last November, and she's living in his, that was his house. Now, I don't know, I don't know the details of, like, if he left her money, if he left her the house. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but I, I would imagine he was probably in charge of paying bills and making sure things were taken care of. Maybe not. Maybe she's got the presence of mind to do it. I kind of doubt it, though. She doesn't work. Um, I'm sure she draws some sort of disability or something. But So he's been gone now for almost four months. Well, let's see. Yeah, four months. It's like the, it, was right, it was right around Thanksgiving, I think, when he died. Somewhere in there. And um, So I imagine... I just don't see how she's going to maintain a house by herself. I just, maybe she can, maybe she can, I don't know. But if she doesn't accept the letter, if she won't sign for it, then I can at least say in court I tried. You know, I tried to communicate with her. And, and the HOA director has dealt with her personally and had to trespass her from the HOA office. Like, she's not allowed to come to the office anymore because she came to the office numerous times and made a scene and they had to call the police and it was just awful. So she can no longer go to HOA office. She can call them or send them letters, but she can't go there. Um, she said, you know, when she gets that letter, when she reads it, it's probably going to make her mad. And she's probably going to yell at you. And I said, yeah, yeah, I know. I know she will, but that's all right because I will get video of that too. And when I go to court, I will have that as well. So yeah, I understand she could do that. I, I kind of expect her to, maybe she won't, but I sent her, I prepared the letter last night and I went by the post office this morning and mailed it, certified mail with a return receipt. So she, the little card and just to sign it. And then that is, that will be sent back to me when she signs for it. If she signs for it, she may not. I don't know. But at least I can show I tried. And, I, of course, I kept a copy of the letter that I sent to her. So, I don't know. We'll see. But then, and I'm going to let my magistrate friend know about that, too. You know, I'm, I'm taking steps to show that I am attempting to communicate with her. Um, I don't expect it to do any good, but at least I can show I tried. So, she's been quiet. I haven't heard a word out of her. But that could change any minute, literally any minute. It's like you're always waiting for the other shoe to drop. but So I did that. She hasn't bothered me anymore. I haven't heard her yell at anybody else. So, But it's never over. It's never over. She always comes back out and she always screams. So you just get a little break occasionally. So anyway, I just wanted to say hey and let you know about the, the April Fool's stuff. Don't tell anybody again. Don't give it away because that's part of the fun is that we get to fool people. 
and it's I, I love I love pranks on April Fools. I, I I I do I enjoy doing it. I like pranking people, and I have been pranked over the years. I've been I yeah I've had people get me too before I realize what day it is. Yep, and it's it's funny. I don't know. Just a it's just a harmless prank. I mean. I felt bad for the people that were really worried about me. Like, Mary, I, I'm really worried that you're getting scammed. And, but that, that's kind of sweet, actually. But, uh, yeah. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Um, in fact, y'all have, have a video coming up later on my other channel of some of my jewelry. And then Sunday, I have an extra special video for those who like sandwich videos. I have one that I'm going to put up on Sunday. So, yay! I actually made it last week that I remembered I said in the April Fool's video that I didn't get a chance to make another one, so I had to hang on to it. So I'll, I'll probably post that Sunday. So I hope you are having a wonderful weekend. I hope my April Fool's video didn't bother you. I hope you found it funny. That was the whole point. It's just, a, it's just a joke. It's just funny. I know we can't joke about anything anymore, but I'm gonna do it anyway, even if what I joke about is ridiculous. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you again soon.